in Hawaii. On the island of Hawaii. So we have about two months left till baby girl comes in, out into this world. <laughs> We're freaking out out of like excitement and fear and all the emotions. Yeah. But today's vlog is gonna start off with a lesson from the waves. Okay. First lesson with the waves here. We're going to refer to waves as opportunities. So you got the big, big waves out there, or big opportunities, and the small waves, or small opportunities here. Now, often to get to the big opportunities, you gotta take the small opportunities. But right now, I'm going to represent most people in life who sit here, waiting, and waiting for opportunities to arrive. And sometimes, you're waiting for quite a while. Still waiting. But does it work? Yes, that works. In fact, it can work a lot of the time. More and more opportunities just keep coming. And so when you get your first opportunity, it's great, and you're content, and you're happy, and more tend to just keep coming. But maybe the big opportunities out there you don't even reach for because you're constantly getting an influx of small opportunities that take your time. Now where Nelly and I have found the most amount of joy is by locating that big opportunity that we want and going for it. Speaking about waves and opportunities to go after, probably one of the most influential waves we went after was starting our YouTube channel. Yeah. By the way, we're uh, paddle boarding on a river that I'm feeds into the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> Nelly's paddling. I'm holding the camera. <laughs> but guys, how crazy. we have It's been about 18 months now and it's crazy of all the different opportunities that have happened because of starting our channel. What's one of the biggest opportunities? Traveling. I think our, well, our first biggest trip together was Fiji and then Thailand. And but those, those weren't on our channel yet. Yeah, when we started, we were on these trips and we were like, we should like record these trips that we're going on. So we have footage all over in Fiji, all over in Thailand, and we haven't uploaded any of that. <laughs> Someday we'll make a cool story about that. I would say one of our first was when we traveled up the coast for six weeks. We went camping. That's where it all started. We were in a little car for six weeks. And we just camped. We went with Richie and Natalie Norton and their family. The Ruckus List. Yeah, their channel is The Ruckus List. It was awesome. And that trip, that trip was so cool. What up guys? I give that on a scale of one to ten. sure hands down from like Oregon up redwoods up it's just been like seriously love that trip especially the moment when we saw that huge tree on the yeah, that was beach. awesome that was so cool one of the prettiest things I've ever seen we went from Mexico to Canada you guys know and we hid a ton of treasures there too Nelly's biggest thing was like I really want to inspire people to go on more adventures we both did yeah we realized by uploading these videos about our trips like it was cool and fun but people just still stayed at home and we wanted to change that so we started doing these treasures and all those yeah. got found but it was like local uh -huh. so then we started going around the world and now our treasures have been found all over the world and we provided opportunities not only for ourselves but for others yeah. and then it gives us like motivation to do these opportunities that we might be like mm, I don't know maybe we shouldn't because there's always an excuse not to but it's like I want to inspire others, so let's go get out there and do it. Like one of our other fun trips, they wouldn't have happened, I don't think. Well, Cambodia. Oh my gosh. It's seriously probably one of our favorite things to do, is go check out the church in different parts of the world. Same teachings, exactly the same, just different language and culture. Right now, our main goal, Bury the treasure. Oh my gosh. Dude. We are the only ones in here, and the birds and the monkeys, which I am okay with. There you go, Nels. Yes. <laughs> I 
to the top of this so that you can see all of Hoang Bay. The coolest thing there was just learning about other cultures and seeing the beauty. Like one of my favorite places in the world was at that Tamcock village. That was that was in Vietnam. Oh, that was that was in <laughs> Vietnam. Still one of my favorite places. We're docking here, by the way. We should probably just get up. We actually got we're actually stuck now because <laughs> the sand yeah. actually got we're really shallow. Okay. That's <laughs> so weird. Good balance for pregnant lady though. Thanks. My beard was Disgusting. nasty. <laughs> you thought so? Well, now that when I look back at like footage, I'm like, oh, gosh. Man, I tried it, guys. That's the whole thing, right? That was another uh, wave I was going for. <laughs> we buried a treasure there too, and one of them hasn't been found yet. So after Vietnam, we then went to Europe. Bathrooms. Okay. This is cool. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> that trip, I would say, meeting the people we met there, like the Stockhoffs, yeah, Stockhoffs. the Caden family. Uh -huh. That was really special. France was such a better experience because we were with a local family taking us around. Germany too, and Belgium with the Wilkie Ways. Oh yeah, that's right. Like Belgium, we saw on a day, and Belgium. I'm sorry, I don't know if we fully got to experience what Belgium was. They said that we saw it all in a day, <laughs> but then the Buckless family went diving. And Garrett got to go deep diving in Belgium. That made the experience, is being with people in that area. Would have never happened. We would have never met the Stockhoffs. Mm -hmm. We would have never gone to France without starting this whole adventure route. How France happened and Europe happened, I don't know if we ever talked about that. I was at work, Nelly saw a post on Facebook that tickets were really cheap and we bought them. Here's a, a hack. If you're a couple that wants to travel, or anyone, 24 hour policy. Most airlines have a 24 hour cancellation policy. So if you're like, oh, these are dirt cheap. I don't know, I need to check with work. Buy it and give yourself a 24 hour deadline to figure out if you're gonna go or not. Cause they will disappear. And if you can't get work off and you already paid for the ticket, Make what's your wave? Your job. What's Just your kidding. wave? <laughs> but maybe there's something different if that's really what you wanna do. And then besides all the places that we've gone, all the people that we've met, even locally or in the states like Our going to vidcon yeah meeting you guys at vidcon meeting Jax, who then introduced us to cody and to josh and now they're like a little family that yeah. we love and here's the thing it doesn't have to be traveling it doesn't have to be seeing That's the true. world it could just be simple opportunities like i want to eat better i want to drink more water i want to get some retainers this year <laughs> like legitimately anything but you just got to make a goal you got to see that wave and you got to do it we'll catch that wave and we, we want to hear what your waves are actually too comment below like what is that wave for 2018 that you're actually going to swim to not that you're going to wait for because those opportunities are going to keep coming but what's the wave that you're going to go and swim to ours that we went for happened <laughs> whether we like it or not that wave is crashing down <laughs> on us soon really so soon. wish us luck there i'm excited to help teach our girl this time in this world it's easier to go after opportunities than it might have been before and there's so many places in the world where it's not as easy to go after opportunities and hopefully we all can work together to, to make that possible for everyone still we get messages all the time like how do you guys travel how do you guys make things happen plan for it my first huge trip that I planned yeah. was to Africa, and it took me, honestly, years, because I'm not gonna lie, I was really bad at budgeting money. But then I finally <laughs> was like, I am going this summer, and I saved money, and I had enough. I found an organization I liked, I did a ton of research, picked that one. We were dating, and I was like, I'm going to Africa. And then I went, yeah. because it's something I want to do. So if you have something you want to do, humanitarian is a great way to start, because they kind of have a plan for you, People are That's there true. already, so you don't have to be worried about going alone. And a lot of times it can yeah. be cheaper if you go as a volunteer. Save little by little. It might take a while, but it's like six months from now. I could either still be doing nothing and have learned nothing, or I could start today and six months later I could be 
that much better at the piano. Or like halfway financially towards my goal to India. You can do it. We believe in you. And don't let a relationship hold you back either. Nelly was worried about going to Africa. We were dating. But when she left, then I just decided <laughs> I really want to marry her now. <laughs> so she came back and I proposed. And then I see us. <laughs> now we're having a baby. Yeah. And starting Woo! her family. We're going to keep burying treasures. We got big waves that huge, we're going after this, wa huge. this year. They're like bigger than like surfers waves they're like they're like dangerous they could take you out to the ocean so we hope you, you guys go and surf with us or body drag or body surf whatever thanks for subscribing if you haven't please subscribe guys join the jerky fam because we're coming to your area yeah probably yeah Most actually likely. once our girls out we're we're going crazy we're going all over remember comment below what your wave is this year and uh we'll see you soon see you guys yeah.